The best way to get started in Kami is to create an account and sign in. First, go to Kami by typing Kami app into your web browser. Next, you'll need to sign into Kami with your school email address. Now that you know how to sign into Kami, let's install the Kami extension. If you use Google Chrome, head to the Chrome Web Store, search for Kami and then click Add to Chrome. If you use Microsoft Edge, you can install the Kami extension by going to Add-ons. Simply search for Kami, then click Get. You're all set. The Kami button should now be visible in your browser. It's just a click away whenever you want to open Kami. To open a new Kami document, first click on the Kami button in your browser. From your Kami dashboard, click New Page and type in how many pages you need the page type you would like, and your preferred page orientation. Then click Add. From here, you can start getting familiar with the Kami toolbar, where you'll find all the Epic tools you'll need in class. Let's learn how to open a Kami assignment from your teacher. We'll show you how to do this with Google Classroom, Schoology, Canvas, and Microsoft Teams so you can skip to whichever platform you use. To open a Kami assignment in Google Classroom, go to your class, then select the assignment and click Open with Kami. Now you can use Kami tools to complete your work. To open a Kami assignment in Schoology, go to the course dashboard to select your class. From Materials, click on the assignment to open a Kami window inside Schoology. Expand your view by clicking the green arrows on the top right-hand corner. Now you can start completing your assignment using the Kami tools. To open a Kami assignment in Canvas, go to Courses to select your class. Then go to Assignments. Click on the Kami assignment and then load the assignment in a new window. This will open your Canvas assignment in Kami where you can complete your work. To open a Kami assignment in Microsoft Teams, first select your class from the Teams dashboard. Next, from the menu on the left, select Assignments. Then click on the assignment you'd like to complete, and it will open up in a Kami window inside Teams. Now you can use Kami tools to complete your work. Let's explore three Kami tools you can use to complete your assignments. Let's look at the Equation tool. Select the Equation tool, and click anywhere on your Kami assignment to start typing out your equation. When you need to use a mathematical symbol, click the Insert Symbol tool where you can choose or search from a wide selection. Once you have found the correct symbol, click it and it will appear in your text box. You can always access formulas through your text box editor. Next, let's check out the Add Media tool. The Add Media tool lets you insert images, videos, graphic organizers, and stickers to your Kami assignment. You can upload images directly from your computer, your Google Drive, OneDrive, or from Google Image Search. Type in an image you want to find into Google Image Search, select the image you want, hit Insert, and click to drop into your assignment. With videos, you can embed video files from your computer, your Google Drive, OneDrive, or by using the YouTube search feature. Paste in the YouTube URL, hit Next, then click to drop your video into your assignment. The Add Media tool is also where you'll find graphic organizers to create Venn diagrams, charts, and mind maps. To use, select the graphic organizer you want and click to drop it onto your assignment. To use stickers, select the sticker you wish to use and click to drop it anywhere on your assignment. And lastly, let's take a look at the comment tool. You can add comments as text, voice, video or screen capture. To leave text comments, you can click anywhere on the page to start typing. Then press the Enter key to create a comment or to start a thread. You can also access voice typing here. To create voice comments, 
Click anywhere to automatically start recording for up to five minutes. Click the stop button to finish recording. To use video comments, simply click anywhere on your Kami document to start recording. There is a red button you can use to pause or stop the recording. Just remember to click done to save the comment once you're happy with it. If you want to record both your screen and video, use screen capture. To start, click anywhere on your document and select the window or tab you wish to record. Remember, under each comment is the option for you to write a reply. Super handy when responding to your teacher's feedback. Once you have finished your Kami assignment, hit the Submit button. This will send your work back to your teacher for grading. Awesome! Now you're ready to use Kami.